This is a demonstration of how to use HD Targets by Soterix Medical. HD Targets is a simple but powerful program that allows you to achieve neurotargeting with your Soterix Medical High Definition Stimulator. Neurotargeting is not like neuronavigation. Neurotargeting allows you to identify a brain region, set stimulation constraints like how many electrodes you have available, and then automatically optimize your HD montage to stimulate that region. Let's go through one example. Before you begin, note that the interface has three sections, the control panel on the left, the help section on the right, and the displayed results in the middle. The help section and control panel can be minimized and the entire application resized as needed. Your HD targets will come preloaded with one or more head models. In this case, the basic HD targets comes loaded with one adult male head, and one standard MNI-152 head. Additional head models available include more adult male heads, adult female heads, pediatric heads, and also heads with lesions, for example, after a stroke. Let's select the standard head and the default 93 electrode density option. Once the head is selected, the different segmentation masks can be viewed in the anatomy viewer in the middle. You can zoom, move, change, and rotate the view using the keyboard and mouse. See the help section on the right for specific instructions. In the second step, you can determine the optimized montage, either based by region or guided by EEG. If you select region base and hit the search button in target location, you will launch a new window with multiple tabs. For tabular based targeting, you have 1105 locations to choose from. For label based targeting, you have 180 labels from the human connectome project to choose from. For voxel-based targeting, you can select any voxel as indicated by the open white circle in the 3D space to optimize for. In this demonstration, we will show you label-based targeting. In this option, you can perform a label search either by index number on the top left or by area name in the middle or by entering the target description keyword on the top right. For instance, entering area name V1 results in four hits or entering description keyword visual results in many hits. Select the region you are interested in and hit OK. Let's select region V6, 6 visual area. Note that the target location is selected automatically and entered in the target location box. Next, select your constraint starting with the optimization criteria. You may choose to select maximum intensity, which delivers the maximum electric field to the desired brain target with the limitation of 2 milliamps. As you can see, this allows you to only do two current sources as this is the optimum setup to do maximum intensity. You may also select maximum focality, which delivers the maximum current intensity to the target while sparing the remaining brain regions. Let's go with maximum focality. Next, choose the number of current sources. This is determined by the AC stimulator that you have. If you have the MXN stimulator with eight channels, select eight channels. Finally, select field orientation. For example, select radial if your target is superficial since pyramidal neurons are predominantly oriented normal to the surface. Soterix Medical HD Targets automatically calculates the most optimal electrode montage based on the criteria you indicated. This is illustrated by the 2D electrode layout in the middle and the optimized montage table on the left. For each electrode indicated, the current you need to apply to that electrode is indicated in the false color map. For example, electrode at location C4 will need to deliver negative 0.42 milliamps, while the electrode at location POZ will need to deliver positive 1.29 milliamps. If you selected four electrodes, four electrodes are used in total. To visualize where each selected electrode is located in relation to the underlying brain, you can click on the location in the 2D electrode layout and observe the corresponding 3D electrode layout. The selected electrode will be displayed in red, while the others stay green. Now let's say you are interested in maximum intensity prediction. Observe how HD targets will instantaneously update to provide the most optimal electrode montage. In this case, the prediction is bipolar with the anode at PO3 and cathode at FP2. Let's go back to maximum focality. To show how current flows through the brain, hit the View Optimal Current Flow button. Soterix Medical HD Targets now shows you the current flow patterns through the head in both 2D and 3D for the optimized electrode montage. The default view in 2D shows current flow for three different views in false color. 
with zero indicating no current and red indicating the maximum current with the electric field intensity indicated. You can select to view the subject MRI, the current direction vector, or the electric field, or view them all together. The selected field intensity value in the control panel shows the field intensity inside the open white circle or at the target location. An electric field of 0.265 volts per meter is induced at the desired target. You can navigate through the head by simply clicking around the 2D space or moving slice by slice at a 1 mm resolution by using the sliders in the control panel. The selected field intensity value will constantly update, always showing the field intensity inside the open white circle. You can use this feature to determine the field at any voxel in the head. If you are interested in again visualizing the target and the induced current flow, simply hit Show Target. The field intensity scale can also be adjusted as needed using the buttons at the top and bottom of the bar to better depict current flow patterns. Note that the optimized electrode placement is shown in the bottom and the chosen optimization parameters like the target and the chosen constraints are listed for reference. To view the prediction for the same target but with max intensity constraints, hit select target, select max intensity constraint and hit step three, view optimum current flow as before. No, an electric field value of 0.315 volts per meter is induced at the desired target. This shows that the max intensity constraint induces more current flow in the target, but will also lead to more current flow in other regions. This can be easily seen by reducing the maximum value on the scale bar to 0.265. To explore the current flow in 3D, just click the 3D option in the control panel. The model can be rendered either as a solid surface or a transparent surface. The solid surface is the default view. You can zoom, change view, move, and rotate the 3D view as before using your mouse and keyboard. By clicking Display Cutting Plane, a plane will be shown in the rendering. The X and Y angles, as well as the distance from the center of this plane, can be adjusted using the sliders to define a precise location. To cut the 3D volume at the plane and export current flow inside the head, simply click Cut and the head model will be cut at that plane. If you want to undo the cut, just click Undo Cut. By selecting Cut by Target, the plane will cut the head volume at the location of the chosen brain target in Step 2. The white sphere will show the indicated target location while the arrow shows the selected field orientation. The field intensity scale can also be adjusted here in the same way as the 2D view. The line export option lets you define a line anywhere in the 3D volume and export the induced electric field values along it to a text file. You can set the start point by clicking on the green crosshair and clicking anywhere in the 3D space to define the star coordinate. You can also manually enter the star coordinates. Likewise, click on the red crosshair to set the end point. Hit cut by line to visualize the cut brain volume at the level of the line. Hit export to save the induced values in a CSV file for further post-processing. Similarly, the sphere export option lets you define a sphere anywhere in the 3D volume and export the induced electric field values to a text file. You define the center and the radius to define the spherical extent and then hit cut by sphere to export the induced values. Now let's take a look at the transparent surface rendering. As you can see, the opacity function section allows you to set the opacity of four different electric field ranges independently of one another. The ranges are determined by splitting the maximum electric field intensity value on the color bar into four divisions. For example, for varying the volume of the brain where the top 25% of maximum electric field is induced, you would set the opacity to 1 in the last range while setting the opacity to 0 in the other three ranges. You can then make the lowest 25% semi-transparent to better appreciate the extent of the max 25% electric field distribution. The target and the desired orientation is shown at all times.
If at any point you want to save what you are viewing, click on the camera icon and save your image. If you want a higher resolution image, you can increase the resolution to up to 6 before saving the image. Now let's see our individualized modeling service feature. You simply hit the modeling service tab in the top bar. From the menu, select upload MRI to upload your subject's anatomical MRI to our web server. The data uploaded is saved on the cloud using a unique encrypted password. You can check the status of your solutions at any time by clicking the Check Status option. Once the solutions are available, you click the Download Head Models option to download them to your local machine. The new head model will now be available for you to select in Step 1 or in the Select Head Step. If you want to explore optimization for different targets, just repeat these steps. For other region-based or EEG-guided targeting options, watch our other videos. HG Targets, another innovation only from Soterix Medical. HG Targets is optimized to work with the Soterix Medical family of HD TES and TES stimulators. For more information, visit us at www.soterixmedical.com.